Hi guys, in this video we are going to talk about choosing the right categories for you to improve your chances of becoming a best-selling author. So what is a best-selling author? A best-selling author is when your book appears in the top 100 of a subcategory in Amazon. So um, there is two categories, a pay category and a free category. You can no longer put your book in the free category permanently. You can only put in the free category during a special promotions. This video is about choosing the less competitive paid categories to put your book into in order to become a best-selling author. You can choose two subcategories within larger categories. The secret is to choose two subcategories that you can sell more books than the book position at number 100. That way you become a best-selling author. Let me show you how you use the Amazon sales rank to find the least competitive subcategories to put your book in. So I'm gonna use my book as an example. So first of all, let's go to the Amazon best selling list. So just go to Google and type best selling Kindle books UK and you will see this link here, the one that it has ZGBS is that one, so click on that link. So here at the left you can see the large categories and if you click in one of the categories, for example education and reference, you will see a list of the subcategories included in that large category. We want to choose two subcategories that we have the best chances of beating book number 100. So if we go down, we want to know the position of the book 100. This one here. This exercise can take you an hour or two, but it's worth it. Because once you reach the top 100, you can claim the status of being a best-seller author. Great, so I'm gonna use my book as an example, Learn Holiday Spanish, and I'm gonna start doing the exercise as I need, as if I would need to choose uh, the categories for first time. So I go to here to the large categories and I search for a large category that is relevant to my book. I'm not going to put it in food and drink or cream or thriller. I need to make it relevant to my book. And education and reference is relevant. So I click on, on that category. And then I check the subcategories within this large category. And again, I need to choose the ones that they are relevant to my book. I'm not going to choose uh, consumer guys or business skills. I'm gonna probably choose or education or foreign languages. So, or if we go down words and languages, I'm, I'll probably need to, I will probably choose one of those. So, I'm gonna choose first foreign languages. And I go to the book number 100, I click on the book 100 and then if you scroll down in this section here you are gonna see a number, the Amazon bestseller rank, that number here and you check this number. What you need to consider is that this, the larger the number is, the less book this book is selling a day. So take a note, I take a note of that number and then I go back to the subcategories. So we are back to the uh, categories and now I'm gonna check another subcategory and I'm gonna check uh, in education. 
But see what happened here. Education has at the same time subcategories include. So sometimes a category has two levels of categories as is the case of education. So I'm gonna check for example, I'm gonna try to find a relevant category and I'm gonna click for example in reference. And I'm gonna I go to the book 100 and I check Let's click on the book and we go down and I'm going to check the Amazon bestseller rank, that number here. And can you see what happened? Can you see how large it is compared to the previous category? It's 209,000, so which makes this category far less competitive. So this is probably a, a right category to choose to put my book in. So this would be a good category to choose. So you keep on going through this process with different relevant subcategories. This can be time consuming, but ultimately what you are looking for is the two relevant subcategories where the book position at number 100 has the highest numbers. Once you find these subcategories, you are now ready to upload your book. However, something to consider is that the subcategories that you have chosen don't always appear in the list of subcategories that Amazon offers you to upload your book into. If this is the case, then choose the subcategories the most closely resembles the one you have chosen. Alternatively, you can email customer services to request that your book is placed in the categories that you want to put them into based on your research. So there you go guys, that's how to choose two subcategories that give you the best chances of becoming a best-selling author. In the next video, we are going to show you how to upload your book into the Kindle store. So see you in the next video.